Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangsters, Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collective Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. During the next seven to eight minutes of this video presentation, we are going to go over our buying process. So if you're already familiar with our process or you've watched our videos in the past, please feel free to fast forward to today's vehicle presentation. In Daytona Beach, we have a 25,000 square foot facility where we house 60 to 70 collector cars, all of which we own. Hangsters.com. We are an internet-based business. We have 100, well, 80 to 100 photographs on our website of each vehicle, along with a 20 to 25 minute video presentation. The reason we have this content on our website is because the majority of the transactions we conduct, conduct month after month and year after year are done sight unseen. Yes, people wire us money for $30,000, $70,000 cars without ever coming to look at them. However, I do not encourage that you do this. Um, classic cars, they're awesome, nostalgic, have great looks, uh, get a lot of compliments, a lot of eyeball, a lot of appeal. Um, but they're 30, 40, 50 year old cars. They are not that brand new car that you're gonna go get from your Ford or Dodge dealer or Chevrolet dealership. Um, they all have flaws, deficiencies, weaknesses, tendencies, some of which we try to disclose in our video presentation and in our photos on our website. I encourage you to come in person to check out the car for yourself. We would gladly pull the car outside for you. You can check out the paint condition, interior condition, real good out in the natural light. You can pop the hood, you can pop the trunk, look the car real good with your own eyes. We have two twin post lifts here in our Daytona showroom. We'd be more than happy to put the car in the air for you if you'd like us to. You can check out the undercarriage, uh, the suspension components, the bottom of the motor, the bottom of the transmission, the floor pan condition, the tire condition. We'll let you drive the car. You can see how the car stops, starts, steers, accelerates, how the transmission shifts, how the ride feels, if there's any noises you don't like, if there's any kind of vibrations or, or anything like that you do not like. This way, when the vehicle shows up to you wherever you're at in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself in its entirety. In our photo shoots and in our video presentations, we try to represent each vehicle as honestly and as accurately as we possibly can and offer full transparency. However, we can only cover so much content in a 20 minute video presentation and this is why we encourage you guys to come in person and check the car out for yourself. What happens next? Once you decide on your classic ride, where do we go from here? If you're a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank and bank wire transfer. And if you're coming to visit us in person, you wanna bring us cash, we'll take that too. That does still spend today, believe it or not. Maybe you don't have the cash to buy one of these cars. What, what are my financing options? We work with a few different collective car lenders that offer terms on these vehicles. The terms start at five years and they go up to 15 years. Approval is going to be based on your credit bureau, debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, price of the car, things like that. I discussed 15 year term. They aren't going to do 15 years on a $25,000 car. There is price cutoffs for that 15 year approval and obviously you have to qualify on the credit end. The uh, loans from the lenders are simple interest loans, which means if your payment's $500 a month and you pay $800 a month, the extra $300 goes towards principal. Also, no prepayment penalty. So if you get approved for an eight-year term, which is about the average approval term, and you pay it off in 12 months, they aren't going to penalize you for doing so. So that makes it nice to own one of these classics also. Short-term money loans, you can do that. And then you can pull money out of your home equity line or your 401k or pull cash out of the bank, whatever the circumstances that you have are. Once the vehicle is paid for, what happens? The car goes through a pre-delivery inspection process. We sell old cars. Anything can stop working, anything can start leaking at any given moment. Therefore, we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. We torque the lug nuts, we check the tire pressure, we check the fluid levels, make sure the AC's blowing cold if it's equipped, make sure your brake lights work, your horn works, your wipers work, all of that stuff. Once it's green lighted and the guys say it's good to go, then we detail it. After it goes through detail, a carrier is dispatched if we are the ones handling the shipping. We can typically have a truck here within 48 hours. However, 
If you're in a more rural or remote destination or a holiday falls in there, or maybe you're on the West Coast where they do fewer runs because of obviously the travel distance, it may take three, four, five business days to get a truck here, but I promise you, we know you're excited to get your ride. We are excited we earned your business as a customer. We will get you your vehicle as quickly and as safely as we possibly can. If you're the one handling the shipping, let's say you're sending your own carrier or you're coming with your own enclosed or open transport or you're driving the car home because you're close enough, we'll let you know when the vehicle is ready and you can come pick the vehicle up. That about covers our uh, purchasing process here at Hangsters Hot Rods of Daytona. So let's get started with today's vehicle presentation. Pretty cool car to present to you today for all you Mopar fanatics. We do have a Dodge Dart 1970. 340 car, H code car. So let's check it out. Uh, it is a 340 in the car. However, it is not the numbers matching 340. Uh, the car does still have its fender tag. We are going to have a picture of that on our website so that you can break that down if you choose to. The uh, big black contraption there that you see on the uh, driver's side firewall is your power brake booster because the car is equipped with power brakes. There is no power steering in this particular unit and there is no air conditioning. So let's check it out. I already mentioned it's a 340 car that's also indicated on the hood scoops, both driver and passenger. Uh, the car is a cool sublime green color with a black vinyl top. Uh, the uh, paint on the car is fantastic. Um, there are just a few small dimples here in the uh, passenger side hood scoop. Not sure what happened there. Maybe the metal wasn't prepped properly, but nonetheless they are there. Uh, the remainder of the hood, uh, fantastic paint condition. Uh, top of the hood, top of the fenders, real nice, no bubbles, cracks, blisters. Your uh, chrome on your hood scoops here are in nice condition. Uh, real, real nice car up top. Uh, front bumper of this car does look to be newer. Um, they, we do not have any documentation on the car as far as when the vehicle was painted, when the motor has been rebuilt, tranny, so on and so forth. Anything we know about the car we do disclose in the video presentations. Uh, the paint on the car is 8 to an 8.5 out of 10, uh, really nice throughout the entire vehicle. Uh, driver's side front fender is what you're looking at right now, both high and low, paint's real nice on the car. Um, no blisters, bondo, bubbles, cracks, anything like that going on. Uh, wheels are in nice shape, raised white letter Mastercraft tires on the vehicle. Um, chrome lug nuts, all in nice condition. Glass clarity on this car is really nice, uh, really uh, nice uh, front windshield here, no cracks, no chips, anything like that going on. Uh, we will have a photo of the fe uh, fender tag, of the VIN plate also on our website so you can see that it is an H-code VIN. Uh, the uh, vinyl top in real nice condition, so your problematic areas on your vinyl tops are usually in front of the front windshield, at the drop downs to the rear quarters and behind the rear window, and we do not have any issues on this car, and I'll show you that throughout the presentation. Uh, back to the glass clarity real quick, uh, vent window, driver door, uh, driver rear quarter glass, all real nice clarity. Check out the uh, glass on the car, uh, real nice and clear. Uh, little to no scratching um, in most areas. Uh, do have dual mirrors on this car, the expensive ones too, for those of you that do uh, deal in you know, car parts, restoring cars, collecting cars, you know that those Mopar mirrors are not cheap and it has one on each door, the driver door and the passenger door. Speaking of the driver door, take a look down low. There's no issues with the paint on this car whatsoever, either in the top, on the top of the door, the center of the door, or the bottom of the door. Real nice paint condition throughout the entire uh, driver's side door. Drip rail molding chrome, not only is it installed correctly, but uh, the chrome is also very nice on the drip rail and then continuing on to the rear quarter where the uh, final top meets the rear quarter. Uh, but we'll take a closer look at that here momentarily. Let's take a look inside the car real fast. Uh, door panels on the car. So on your Dart, you have a painted top portion of your door panel and down below it is also painted. And then the center is your vinyl. Uh, in this particular car, uh, the door panel is not discolored, nor is it warped. Uh, the armrest is in real nice condition. Let's take a look at the interior of the vehicle. 
starting with the back seat. We'll pop the uh, driver's seat forward here. Uh, I do have rear seat belts, black vinyl in the cars in real nice shape. Uh, brand new floor mats, brand new Dodge Dart Swinger floor mats in the uh, vehicle. You have uh, real nice carpeting underneath, um, not uh, discolored, not stained, not torn. And I told you the floor mats are brand new and they're not the uh, cheap floor mats either. They're the nice expensive ones. The uh, uh, headliner in the car, no rips, no tears, no discoloration, no uh, rat holes, anything like that going on. No, no issues there. Uh, driver's seat, nice condition. Vinyl's not ripped or torn. Your seat cushion's fantastic, nice and firm. Uh, steering wheel's in good shape. It's not cracked, aged. Uh, looks to be in pretty good shape. Huge front floor mat. Says Swinger across it. Like I said, they're brand new. Um, and then, of course, underneath your floor mat. I'll try to pull it up here a little bit. Underneath your floor mat, there's no issues with the carpet. The uh, carpet's in nice shape. The uh, dash pad, same thing. We'll take a closer look at that when we're on a test drive. But the uh, dash pad in this car is in nice condition. Even your door jams in nice shape. See no rust or rot or anything like that going on there. Dodge Dart Swinger on the uh, driver's side uh, rear quarter of the car. Uh, so the door fitment to the rear quarter, check that out. No uh, door overhang going on. Uh, the door fits nice and flush to the front fender to the rear quarter. See your body line here, how it's, it lines up nicely. The door is not higher than the rear quarter or lower than the rear quarter. It lines up nice. Uh, told you about the uh, vinyl top. You can see here there's no issues whatsoever where the vinyl top meets the quarter of the vehicle. And then, of course, around the back window here, no issues, all nice and solid. And look at that glass clarity on the back window as well. Nice and clear through there. Uh, no issues with the chrome. Chrome's installed around the rear win window nicely. And then... Uh, you know, there's, the, the chrome clarity is also good. Very bright, uh, very uh, silver. You know, it's, it, it, it's nice. It's not pitted or patinaed. Uh, your bumblebee stripe here in the rear of the car is vinyl. Um, that is in pretty nice shape. Um, no uh, peeling or fading. And then the uh, paint on your deck lid here in nice condition. There is a little chip here where, um, you know, paint got chipped off and there's a little tiny bit of surface rust there, but uh, other than that, top of the deck lid, rear of the deck lid, uh, rear of the quarters, all in real nice shape. So uh, I've had a couple darts through the showroom where you have to uh, either sell them the way they are or put a new rear bumper on them because the rear bumper has a tendency to want to etch. Um, there's like these faint yellow like lines in them and uh, this one's not. This is fantastic. I mean, real nice chrome in the rear bumper. It looks like a newer. Both uh, the front and bump, rear bumpers uh, appear to be newer, which is a good thing because they're not cheap and they're hard to find. Uh, the trunk mat, also brand new. And the trunk itself, yep, no issues. No rust, no rot, no holes. There is a, this is a, new spare tire board as well and I'll show you that there is a spare tire down there a full-size spare so you do have a spare tire brand new spare tire board and brand new trunk mat even the paint on the friggin back of the deck lid is nice when you're looking down the passenger side of the car <clears throat> notice uh, your body lines body lines on this car are really nice nice straight quarters nice straight doors Good uh, panel fitment, uh, door gaps are good, color on the car is uniform in color. It looks like a newer paint job would be my guess. Um, there's really no uh, extreme paint flaws or uh, weaknesses to speak of. It's pretty nice paint throughout the entire car. There's your swinger emblem there on your uh, passenger side rear quarter. Again, check out your body lines here, the door fitment to the rear quarter, to the front fender. Lines up to the front fender nicely. That uh, mirror I was telling you about also on the uh, passenger door just as it was on the driver. Uh, chrome on the door handles. Uh, door handles don't look brand new, but the chrome is pretty good on each. 
Uh, an interior in this car is really immaculate. You have, uh, let's start with the door panel on the passenger side. It mirrors the driver's side. Uh, there's no, on your Mopar products here and your darts, when you have this type of door panel, it has a tendency to want to uh, bow and pull away from the door itself. This one's not doing that at all. It's in nice shape. Uh, your passenger side uh, bucket seat there. Check out driver and passenger side seats. Real nice condition. Great vinyl. Uh, good cushion. Brand new floor mats. Uh, good looking center console. It is a center console automatic car, so you can see that. Again, no issues here on the passenger side with the uh, vinyl top, either behind your drip rail moldings or where your uh, top meets your quarter. Pentastar on the uh, passenger side front fender there. While you're down there taking a look at uh, Plymouth Chrysler Dodge's infamous Pentastar, take a look at the uh, uh, fender on the car. No paint issues down there going on whatsoever. This car has really nice paint on it. It really does. I showed you one issue in the hood there on the hood scoop, a little, uh, couple little pock marks there. But other than that, man, really nice paint, great glass clarity, nice vinyl top, real nice clean interior. Great looking 1970 Dodge Dart, 340 each code. We're going to put it on the rack. We'll check out the undercarriage, um, show you the uh, floor pans and the bottom of the motor and the transmission and all that stuff. And then we'll take it out on a test drive and show you how the car runs. Underneath our green 1970 Dodge Dart, uh, you have disc brakes up front. Uh, a lot of new components on this vehicle. That uh, starter uh, looks to be relatively new. Uh, as far as the oil pan is concerned, there's not a whole lot you can see. The uh, 340 has uh, headers coming down off of the side of it. By the way, the block is a 1967 block, so it is not the numbers matching uh, motor for the vehicle. Uh, but it is uh, from the late 60s uh, in a 70s car, so it is a, uh, a later model 60s 340. The uh, oil pan, I'm sorry, the tranny pan on the car, uh, real nice and dry at this time. You can see that clearly. Uh, the floor pans on the vehicle are painted the same color as the car, and they are really uh, in nice shape. Everything from the frame rails to the pans themselves uh, to the cross member that supports the tranny up, everything's nice and solid. You can see, uh, you know, being sublime green, uh, none of the floors are patched, sectioned, uh, anything like that. They're all in real nice condition. Tail shaft seal on the tranny is nice and dry. The speedo cable you guys may or may not be able to see, but I can. That's nice and dry. I'm pointing out those areas because when you do have a tranny leak, those are normally your problematic areas. So those three, tranny pan, tail shaft seal, and speedo cable. E-brake is hooked up um, and is functioning. <clears throat> Continuing on to the rear of the vehicle, uh, rear frame rails in nice shape here. Uh, the exhaust system that comes down off of the headers goes into an H pipe and then continues back. You have some uh, uh, thrush mufflers here, um, driver and passenger, both are in good shape. Uh, you don't have any rust holes, rot holes, pin holes, anything like that going on in the exhaust system. The welds from the pipes to the mufflers look to be real nice. Uh, nice evenly run bead. Uh, drum brakes in the rear of this vehicle. Uh, the uh, trunk housing here, you know, where your uh, spare tire uh, drops into, uh, that is in nice shape. There's no uh, holes or anything like that going on. Uh, rear frame rails on the car, you can see are real nice. Uh, the drop downs on the rear quarters, check that out. Um, so this is your metal tab on the inside, and then that's your outer uh, quarter there. So it's metal to metal. There's no uh, any kind of filler or anything like that going on. And it's the same on the uh, passenger side of the car. You can see this is your inner uh, structure of your rear quarter, and then this is your outer structure and it's metal to metal up there. Here's the hole for the inner quarter panel. Uh, no uh, filler inside of that. Uh, your tire condition's nice. You got uh, plenty of tread on the tires and then uh, no dry rot or cracking 
inside of the, uh, the tires on the vehicle. 1973 40 Dodge Dart. Let's set it on the ground. We'll take it on a test drive and show you how the vehicle runs out. Okay, inside of our 70 Dodge Dart, we do not have a horn here. Not sure why. We'll have to check that out. Uh, E-brake works. The uh, turn signals, driver's side. Passenger side. 16,588 is not the original miles on the car. Title reads exempt. No radio, so you don't have to worry about that. Temp, we'll keep an eye on through the test drive. We have oil pressure, which is always a good thing. Battery voltage is charging. The fuel tank, here's a rarity in our cars. It is full. <laughs> uh, we had the uh, fuel, when we got the car in, the uh, sender was sticking a little bit there. So we uh, filled it and it took about 16 bucks and it's full, full. So it is uh, correct in reading now. Um, nice dash pad in the car. Headliner's in real good shape. Center console's not bad. I would venture to guess that that is the original console or it's out of the late 60s, early 70s out of another car because it shows, you know, it just looks that way. It's not like an aftermarket reproduction or anything like that. We're idling nicely. We're not stalling out. Um, car runs fantastic. So let's take, uh, let's take it on a little ride and show you that right now. Inside our 340 Dart, Speedo works. It's got a little bit of a shake to it, but not bad at all. We'll keep an eye on our temp throughout the test drive. Good oil pressure, battery voltage is working. Uh-oh, I think we got a little bit of rain coming. The uh, car no engine vibrations, no tranny vibrations. It tracks down the road nice and straight when you let go of the wheel. The uh, steering, it's got a little bit of play in the steering wheel, but not bad. Um, the steering overall, you know, pretty tight. We'll uh, take it up here, we'll test the brakes. We'll run it through a couple gears. I'm glad I wasn't going too fast there. need to use the wipers on a test drive but look no pull out of the brakes no vibrations no pulsations really nice uh, brakes here we have try to get it back to the showroom before we get too much rain here hopefully it doesn't start pouring on us Seventy-five. This uh, three forty is strong. Wow, I like it. Good acceleration, good response. Motor set up nicely. Transmission shifts perfectly, just like it should. By the way, the exhaust has a nice throaty sound to it. It's got a. Uh, it's not excessive. Some of the muscle cars, you know, people put cherry bombs on them or, you know, the, uh, the pipes can get kind of excessive. This one has a nice rumble to it, but it's not to the point where you're trying to yell at the person next to you to talk to them in the car, you know. So it's uh, set up rather nicely. Use that expensive ass mirror we got over there so I can switch lanes. I like it. 1973 40 Dodge Dart. By the way, again brakes. No pulling issues, no vibration issues. Our temp's good. We're idling nicely. We're not stalling out. We got good oil pressure. 1970 Sublime Green Dodge Dart H code car 340. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. 
where you can find all the photos of this dart today, along with this video presentation you're watching right this very moment. At full retail price, our 1970 Dodge Dart includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good at any ASC certified facility in the United States. Uh oh, we're getting some rain. It covers engine, transmission, and rear end. ASC certified facilities are all dealerships, most independents, and most franchise facilities. You just got to take it somebody reputable to do the work. Is the price of this 70 Dodge Dart negotiable? It certainly is within reason. We negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. There's no exceptions to that rule, so you don't have to bother asking that question. Also, the shipping comes off. There is a time commitment in shipping cars. There is legwork involved. You have to properly uh, vest the carrier, make sure they're licensed, bonded, insured to carry your ride. You have to set up the pickup of the vehicle. You have to arrange the delivery. You have to pay the driver. At full retail price, we do all that for you. At a negotiated cost, you're gonna handle that on your own. Maybe you're a Mopar collector or just muscle car, collector car enthusiast, and you have your own trailer. That is perfectly fine with me. You can come trailer this car home, no issue whatsoever. And of course, if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, and you wanna come drive this dart home, you can do that also. Hangster's Hot Rods is located in what generally is sunny Daytona Beach. And once again, our website is hangsters.com. Check us out.